Time for your ABC 36 Storm Team forecast. Another dry day on this Thursday here in central and eastern Kentucky, but obviously transition day uh, with the remnants of Francine moving northward. Our rain chances are going to ramp up tomorrow with that system just off to our west and southwest. Now, it does look like the steady rain is going to remain to our west. So we're not looking at a washout for game day Saturday or for the upcoming weekend as a whole. Uh, that's good news relative to outdoor plans. We're still watching that coastal low uh, to our east into early next week. That actually could bring some additional shower chances. Visible satellite showing all the mid to high level clouds streaming northward, although it looks like a few breaks down here in southern Kentucky, but it's been overcast all day long down south. South. We had some morning sunshine here in the bluegrass giving way to the clouds during the early part of the afternoon. As you know, it has been really, really dry, very low humidity levels all week long. So this stuff is encountering that drier air there into parts of north central Tennessee. So I think what will sneak into southern Kentucky initially Probably just Virga not reaching the ground, but uh, it will win out later this evening because we've noticed dew points are coming up. I'll show you that in a second. The center of what's left, the remnant low, uh, almost over Memphis, but as it moves northward, it's going to bump into this upper level high pressure ridge. So that'll put the brakes on it out across the Missouri River Valley. You see the overcast there at Mount Sterling, 79. So areas along and north of the I-64 corridor managed to get into the upper 70s, low 80s. Meanwhile, Wayne County near Monticello, the mesonet there, 74. So there you go, low 80s north of I-64, only mid 70s with the thicker cloud cover all day down south and notice along the Kentucky 80 and Howe Rogers Parkway corridor we're starting to get back into the low 60s and that's an indication that tropical moisture is starting to win out so eventually as we get mid to late evening I think we will start to see a few light rain showers down south but the main player over the next few days Area of low pressure, of course, was Francine 24 hours ago, about to make landfall in southern Louisiana as a Category 2. It weakened quickly. See, during the overnight, tomorrow morning, a few scattered showers again. Maybe a rumble of thunder or two, and especially if we see some breaks in the clouds, may get some storms going tomorrow afternoon. It's Friday. High school football may have to watch for any potential lightning strikes that could impact some games. It's going to be a tight gradient from the steady, heavier rain out west in yellow to literally dry conditions looking more likely basically to the east of I-75. Now you see the rain chances continuing and there's a reason for that, that low off to the east, but uh, the rainfall forecast, I mean look at the gradient from very little north and east of Lexington to two, three, four inches locally out across western Kentucky. So here's how things shake out uh, through the weekend. Area of low pressure kind of spins down and it's forced down. So you see a lot of the rain, at least organized rain to our west. So just a few scattered showers Saturday and Sunday. Don't cancel any outdoor plans. Of course, big game out of Kroger Field coming up Saturday evening, which you can see right here on ABC 36, 730, cats and the dogs tailgating. A few showers may be around. Just obviously take the rain gear along with you for the game. Don't think we'll see a washout. Now into early next week, here's that low, which the data is still trying to push back to the west and look at some of that moisture sneaking into West Virginia, East Ohio, and Eastern Kentucky, which is great news because the latest drought monitor in orange, those pockets, that's up to a severe drought. Been a while since we've seen that in the deep red over into West Virginia, extreme to exceptional. They've really got some issues over there just to our east, so any rainfall would be beneficial. Cloudy showers late tonight, 64 coming up tomorrow, breezy. East wind at about 10 to 15. Showers with some thunder in there as well. 81 in the extended forecast here. Uh, again, scattered showers uh, off and on through the weekend, and we'll watch that system to the east. Of course, it's not going to rain all day, every day, essentially low-end chances. And you notice throughout the seven-day here, afternoon highs each and every day pretty much hanging into the low 80s.